Jamal, Jamal, hey. Hey, y'all already know who it is. It's just Moon June, hey. And this my cousin, y'all. This my cousin, sir. Hey, this is Hook to be making the uh, sea mouth. Ha. Yeah, yeah y'all already know this. <laughs> y'all, we down here. All is too late. All is too late, y'all. We just gonna tell y'all something. The beat up to the five. The, the, the Sunday spot. The, the holiday spot. What? Turn up Tuesday spot. <laughs> Look at it, it's lovely right here. You, you see that rail? Come on, let's go take him to the rail. Go ahead, come on. Let's go to him. Y'all heard his music? Yeah. This little, this is Reggie City. Oh, look. This, this funky town here. This funky, funky town, 817, all day, every day. This is, this side of the lake, y'all. This is the side of the lake that we jump. It's like the black people. Y'all already know I am not a different group. I'm just, race don't even matter, but <laughs> the, the color just be out here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> McCray, and I forget the other name of the side, but it's literally two lakes, you guys. But this is all of the lake. It's where it be going down. It's a, it's a little bit of like rocks. It's a little dangerous because I'd be scared I'm gonna fall in there. But they used to throw concerts and everything out here, though, y'all. Concerts? Would you come to a concert out here? I definitely would. I mean, look at the lake, it's beautiful. Right. Like on the water. But yeah. This for where y'all this word when y'all be seeing me make my videos and everything like that, and I'll be talking about some. Hey, at the lake, it's where I be talking about y'all. That this the ghetto part. I'm not gonna even lie, y'all. It's where, it's, where, it's where your grandma and granddaddy is. They come drink their smearing outs and stuff down here. Do people be fishing out here? Yeah, they fish. Yeah. Gentrified. Look, it's some shrimp out here. Look, I, what? wait, what the Who heck? left that? <laughs> that is wow. They got some shrimp out here at the lake. This. We don't know if this, they had a boil or this, they got it out the water. This can't be real. <laughs> Yeah, you're not gonna get you some. Act like, you know, be with our people. You know, our people in the ghetto, you know. Just saying. <laughs> you fishing, sir? Just man, man, huh? where? No. Do you use those shrimp for bait? Oh, yeah, I can throw them out there. Excuse me. All right, cool. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have been, I heard. Molly, we, we do decide to throw, you remember when we was talking about throwing a concert out here? Uh, we, you been with Lance, we been with talking about throwing a concert out here? Yeah, it's still gonna happen, but we gotta get that piece. I'm gonna be scared. Yeah. So and so. <laughs> <laughs> this the hood, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, y'all gonna sit yourself. I know, right? Listen, this so been here since before. We was in what? Alright, he was at Middle Park Middle School across the street. This store been around? Yeah, this store been around. Formerly known as what? What's it? Jack Way. Formerly known as Jumbo High. Yeah. You know, Jumbo Middle School. Middle School. But now it's Jack Way. Jack Way. Jay Boy. Something. Something we don't know about. But listen. For y'all that don't know, I'm from the sea. I'm from the sea. I can't. My head's in the way, but I'm from the sea. Really? Is he really from the sea, too? I'm really from the sea. I'm really, 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 really. I'm really, really, really from the sea. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me to your city, too. Listen, this is the Ramey supermarket, right? Oh my god. We used to come here as kids. And they used to make us stand in the line to get in the store like we were thieves. No I wasn't thieves, but our friends were. <laughs> 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 Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Ain't nothing there. It's cleared out. Yeah. It's nobody's natural food. Give me my money, man. Uh, Excuse me, fam. Fuck you. What money? I'm not going to talk to you. Oh, shit. Give me my money. Take that shit. I thought. I said, excuse me. He said, fuck you, nigga. I like, what? Listen, listen, let me tell you. Listen, y'all, I try to bring y'all into the hood stuff. So listen, let me tell y'all, this is the Ramey Moore. It's a little bit different nowadays. It ain't the same it used to be back in the day. Oh, wow. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. Where we go? All this will be good with food. Remember this. Uh-oh. Appreciate you, bro. It's cracking over here. <laughs> oh my god. Y'all want to come and see my hood? <laughs> we here. We, I, that's what I asked for. See what you asked for. <laughs> hey, y'all already know what it is. Your girl smooth, you. We in a car, hey. We in a car. Like, nigga, we riding in a car type shit or whatever. We riding around my hood. Spinners, Stop seeing. Yo, we riding spinners. We riding spinners. Big spinners. You already know. Chevrolet spinners. <laughs> Not that Impala. Clack, 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 no. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, we taking a tour around the city or whatever. I'm with my cousin, Sir Hook. He driving, so, you know, turn around and get the camera real quick. You know, yeah. Yeah. You know, we, you know, we risk cakes and everything around here. God got us. You already know. You already know. <laughs> I don't <laughs> But yeah, I got my guy Mari behind the camera. Y'all already know how low vision in this motherfucker. But yeah, this my Appreciate hood. You. This this we we in the six. Can y'all see we we in the six? Like you know, y'all seen the store and everything early and everything. Like we passed up my elementary school and everything like that. But listen, let me tell y'all something. We out here, we trying to make you know major changes out here in our community. Some of y'all leave the community, y'all never come back and all that kind of stuff like that. It matter because your grandma here, you know your cousins here and everything like that. You know, uh, y'all need to think about uh, the future. Gas is five dollars. We live in Texas, California. <laughs> Damn. We live in Texas. We live in Texas, California. Uh, y'all like when when I head is heavy, you know, when my head is heavy or whatever. I just ride around. I just I just ride around because I remember, you know, being a kid and my grandmama, you know, taking us around. We call it the hood now, but it's historical. Stop Six is historical. I don't know what she doing. What she doing? She got a shirt tied up. Yeah, yeah, Stop Six is historical. I hear about it from everywhere, from the news to the to the to the people rapping about it and everything. Yeah, it's a lot of historical, you know, parts over here in the Six. Um, so, yeah, as a person who's not from Texas, what would you like people to know about Stop Six? So people that's not from Texas, what would I like for them to know about? Mm -hmm. Like if you had to put out your one message to the world, handwritten from Stop Six. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. What What would you say? What would you say? What would you say? I don't know. Let me see. What separate What separates our hood from all the rest of these hoods? Well, first of all. You ain't got no black gardeners in your in your in your, in your hood or whatever. So yeah, South Six is definitely the people look over there. There is a lot of farmers and uh, growers. And I Stop mean, Six. the thing about it is, like Stop Six. So a lot of people get full work when they when okay. So if you from out of town and you get to talking about um, like where you from, and you tell somebody somebody tell you I'm from Fort Worth, and they're like, oh, they're like Dallas. No. And it's like Dallas is the city. Dallas is the city. Dallas is pretty much, you know, you got Houston. I mean, Austin is the capital, of course, but you know, Houston is a big city. Austin is a big city. Then, you know, Dallas is a big city. So then, when people get to talking about Fort Worth, they like Fort Worth. Yeah, Fort Worth is big. Fort Worth bigger than all the rest of these cities Fort or whatever. Worth, uh, this country got land. The, so, uh, United States. Exactly. So over here in Stop Six, it's a lot of houses that sitting on like one point. 2.3 point acres and we don't even know it. It's a lot of chickens over here, y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all something. I ain't bought no real eggs. <laughs> I mean, how long? I ain't bought no three eggs. Months. I bought no eggs about three, four months, y'all. Like, dead eggs. Like, we been eating organic eggs like motherfuckers. Lettuce and everything because Stop Six has the most, I ain't gonna even say the most, but some of the most growers <laughs> that I know of over here in the city. So, 
if I don't know you and I tell you, hey, I'm from Stop Six, and they're like, well, what separates your city from my city? The produce. The produce. I hang out with a lot of farmers, a lot of growers. So, yeah, that's what separates my city from your city. <laughs> that's, hey, I like that. The produce. <laughs> I'm recording. <laughs> I don't know how them babies is, but if that's what they call practice, <laughs> get it. But I had to show them I can, I can, I can make these niggas <laughs> move too. Them babies probably like 16, 17, 18. Uh -huh. I'm 30 years old. Out of breath. Yeah, that's cute though. <laughs> so, you how long you how long have you been in the uh, produce business? You said, did you say seven, seven months? months? Seven months. How has the seven months been? Hard. It's a good learning experience, but it's been, it's been definitely hard. It's been definitely hard? Yeah. Why would you say hard? What's, what's hard about it? What's hard about feeding these people? What's hard about growing a crew combo? You just never know what's going to hit you. Just yeah. being prepared what's going to hit you. you oh, am know. I turning the brightness? It's always something. There we go. I was trying to change the color. Yeah, the color. It's gonna be a little bit better. Oh. You said, but man, so okay, I understand because because of the prices and everything, the economy, everything, and right now is crazy. Yeah. But so, do you still feel like the farming is 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 lucrative? Like lucrative? Like it's just like a little it, bit difficult? It is lucrative because definitely when like COVID hit, everybody was interested in growing their own produce. Just being healthier, everybody became just health conscious. So. It's definitely lucrative, and everybody is looking at the produce. And all the grocery stores is going bad on the shelf as you buy. It's going, but going bad. Yeah, like when you go to Walmart and stuff, you don't see like you don't see yourself picking through produce. It's, and it's molded, and then, like especially shopping, shopping areas are always. Molded. Oh yeah. Are you a grocery see, shopper? Do you yeah. Do you, do you, do you, do you look at the <laughs> the tags and and the expiration dates? No, he's not eating no fruits and no vegetables. I eat. <laughs> what? I be in Walmart, but I, I get some grapes sometimes. I be getting my grapes or whatever, eating my grapes. I be checking to make sure they're not they're not messed up, whatever. I be, so I understand some a lot of, but it's always it's all it's always kind of big, kind of like sour. Some of them like being like kind of messed up. So now it's even more like that. I see. I mean, I I be eating just the basic food. I be eating chicken nuggets and fries. I go in there, so I, that don't ever get old. That can stay frozen. So far, what's the crop that you're the most proud of planting? We gonna get you on a better track. <laughs> but I be working out though. You see, I'm fit. I'm fit. Radishes. You radishes. more fit though. You right. How you be in the radishes? gym for real, for real. Radishes. How do I grow radishes? Like you wanna know step by step. Is that a plant that you can put inside of the ground like a potato? Yes, it's like, a you know, seed. A it's a, it's a uh, seed that you start. You put it in the ground. Specifically, watermelon radishes. They grow like really, really big and round and sweet. And Let's see. Well, how much space of your yard are you dedicating to the radishes? Well, not yeah, my I yard, but at the fight, Opal's Farm, I have a whole 25 feet row of ranches. And what's your least favorite plant to be growing right now? You know, they're kind of fickle, so some of them die a little bit easier than others, and they take a lot of work to tend to. So which one do you like the most, and which one do you like least? So radishes the most. Right now, the least? I got two favorites, actually. Potatoes. I'm, this is okay. my first year successfully. Potatoes are pretty simple to grow, huh? So. Oh. Yeah, this is my first year successfully growing. Well, congratulations. Yes. And your least favorite? My least favorite? I don't have a least favorite. I'm kind of in that like learning mode. I want to grow everything. My so least favorite is specific. spearmint. It wilts really spearmint. easily. It gets hot super easily. The ground, if it isn't right, the plant will start wilting. Really? In I almost like any scenario, it'll start spearmint wilting. It is, I, just I love the way it, it tastes, but it's so hard for me to tend to personally. I don't tend to mine. I just let it do what it do. Yeah. Well, you use fertilizers and stuff? No, I do not use fertilizers. I use alfalfa and poultry mix, so every, anything that's like natural. Manure, cow manure, compost from 
old things I eat, like vegetables and stuff that I don't finish. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, see, that's lit. That's lit. That's lit. Okay. Let's uh, let's let's walk let's walk to another spot. Whole team coming up. My whole team rocking. Whole team go. Whole team. <laughs> Hello, vision. Get into it. Get into it. <laughs> get into it. Get into it. Get into the get just get into the problems hustle, the money hustle. We get into it. I Man, you making it happen? Yeah, God. Lisa, I'm trying to tell y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Don't ever not. Don't ever be scared to pray because prayer is gonna always take you where you need to go. Whatever your religion is, whatever. Listen, let me tell you something. Pray. God gonna always make changes when change needs to be due. But you gotta make them changes too, cause God is like your lazy ass. They turned up with her. They be turned up. Whoa. This is amazing. We out here. Hey, y'all already know too. Martin Luther King Park. City of Fort Worth Reparations Department. Truman. Make this Don't forget about huh? the street. Truman. 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 That's where we at? Yeah. Yo, Truman Street. What does that mean? Wait, wait, wait. wait. What is it? Why you all like that? What does that mean? What do you know about Truman Street? I don't know nothing about Truman Street. I heard, I heard about Truman Street. Oh, Lord. What happened on Truman Street? <laughs> Nothing. We we over here though. We good. What happened on Blood capital. That's why I know I heard some stuff. That's where all the blood is. But y'all know Truman Street ain't even that long, bro. It's gonna you go, go right up there to that corner. Then you go just right there. The other side cut through where I'm at in the creek. Oh, that's the part they be talking about. It's not this part. Uh oh. Uh oh. So, I have another question. You know, as you're getting a little bit older and, you know, just looking at the places where you grew up changed. You know, you've been here since you were a kid. You know, how do you feel about it? You know, what are some positive changes that you've seen? What are some negative changes that you've seen that you're not too fond of? The gentrification. The gentrification. And the fact that you still ain't getting up in the grocery store. Y'all giving us a chicken shake and a pizza for every morning. We don't even have a smoothie king. We'll have a smoothie. Uh, we we'll have nothing. Chick -fil -A. We don't have any Chick-fil-A. I even take Chick-fil-A. What in the Chick-fil-A and the Smoothie King directly play into the gentrification that you guys we're, are talking about? It is. It is. We were just saying it's it. The unhealthiness of the unhealthiness of it. So we have, you know, the black growers is growing, you know, vegetables. Um, but the fact we still don't have a grocery store and the fact that my city has a gentleman's agreement not to have an HEB here in the city. And it's, and it's only it's only uh it's only two grocery stores within because this this is top six and then I mean you go next grocery door you got store Eastwood is, is Fiesta Fiesta and then you got Albertsons but them are the two main grocery stores you go on down to let's say like what Walmart Little Road Little Road you know you got a Walmart, Walmart, Walmart yeah Alberry. they got an Albertsons they got a Kroger and everything like that so the fact that you know it's only two grocery stores in our community. You know, that's not good. I mean, the thing about it is here at the Mother King Center, um, I don't see enough kids in tune, and I don't see enough kids here. Like it used to be. Like it used to be. It was just like kids used to love, you know, to come, you know, to the recreation center, participate in activities. They had all kinds of stuff. I even remember where they had like a mini gardening program here when we were younger. So gardening has always been around. It's just the fact that it's more implemented in our um, community as of now, and it's more implemented like. Said, like 2020 shoes it was no food on the shelves it wasn't the fact of the matter is like it was so high because at that point in time didn't nobody give a fuck about the, the the cucumber being what 30 cents more than what it normally be or whatever it was just the fact that they couldn't get it so the fact that we have like farmers like hug other farmers that we you know work with and as well too are actually providing more more crops and more um sustainable food for mm -hmm. our community is, is, is really beneficial but these kids don't come to this this community what do center. you think the reason that is why do you think the kids aren't getting out as much as they used to um society has changed on a platform that none of us can really answer our generation of kids has changed um electron electronics electronics so. has taken over i remember i was just me, me and a girl was talking on facebook we have I, and it's crazy this is what i love about the day-to-day -day -day conversations that i have with people that i know nothing about we was talking about 
how her kid jumped from the roof to the trampoline and broke his leg. And then I told him, I said, yeah, I jumped from the trampoline, from the roof to the trampoline too. Fell off the trampoline and fractured two arms, you know, type shit or whatever. And it's just like, my little nephews, you know, my little cousins, them little kids can't say none of that because they stay in the house. They're trapped with the PlayStation, you know, and et cetera, stuff like that. So, times has changed. Times has changed. We can all, that question will be asked for the rest of our life, you know, but we don't never know. <laughs> well, at least in terms of adaption, you know, obviously things can never go back to how they were in terms of change. But if you had a personal, it doesn't have to be a complete solution, but if you had an idea on how to implement the way that things are now for the younger generation to try to get them back in tune with the, you know, older generation and the things that they encompassed in their lives, how would you do that? I'm doing it now. <laughs> I'm doing it now. I'm 30 years old. You thought I was about, you probably thought I was about 23, 24, huh? These kids love me. It's because my energy level, and I pray to God to have the energy. I don't got the energy some of these kids got, but I do got the energy some of these kids got, you know? So when I'm out here and I'm showing these kids, you know, hey, well, just because I'm 30, I don't have, I don't have any kids either. <laughs> <That wild. laughs> so for me to have, <laughs> for me to have the, the nature that I have and the drive that I have to give these kids um, more, because some of these kids don't have parents. Some of these kids don't have a positive influence. Some of these kids don't have brothers. Some of these kids don't have sisters. You know, I thank God that we've been that we've been able to work in the leadership programs and in academies um, and everything like that. But even with us working in the academies, we see kids that 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 are not they don't have it. And I mean, the way the the way the time has ran, not not just grown folks, but it's like the kids are watching the grown folks. So everybody's living their life through other people's you know lives. That's why depression is so big. You know now. So I'm I'm really just here to cause cause kids kids be depressed too. So I'm I'm really just here to let them kids know that it is it, it, nothing to be depressed about. Got to keep God first. But we living in a time where it's just like you know Gucci taking over. You got to be designer down. You know um, you got you got to you got to eat shrimp. You got to eat seafood every day. Lamb chops. Lamb chops. You got to take pictures of your food. Society fucked. <laughs> Society is fucked. I'm, I'm hitting my pump. Society is something else. <laughs> <laughs> just like Doja Cat. <laughs> nah, but, but but for real though, um, I just pray and I continue to ask God to let me be a positive influence and a positive, um, a positive role model for not just these kids, like business owners, um, anybody that that that's lacking in a sense of you know saying i can't do this you know i can't push forward and everything like that y'all i've been working for smooth june i've been working smooth june media almost 10 years get out of here <laughs> it can be done and i'm here to make and, and push that along with my cousin and the rest of my team and y'all meet this she, she really make it happen too yeah, yeah. miss miss make that shit happen the real the, smooth june i was about to say the, I, 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 think the real smooth june media it's dope though. It's dope though. We making major changes out here in this community. Major, major changes. Cause again, like these kids don't get, they don't go outside. They don't, they don't, they don't leave the house. You know. Oh, and then the fact that they had to stay home, the fact that they had to stay home for that long period of time during COVID. Like what? That's another thing that made them like pretty much like yeah, well I don't want to go outside and all that kind of stuff like that. Man, send them kids outside and this summer send them kids to a damn day camp. <laughs> <laughs> Going to that in the inside, y'all used to be like a basketball. You want to play basketball and everything like that. For real? Mm -hmm. This little room right here was actually on the cool. My mom and daddy, my mom and daddy had that reception in there. <laughs> this bag, like that reception, was like in 2000. <laughs> Whoa. Woo! That's how historical. You got memories here. What memories? That was historical. It was in 2000. That was 20 something odd years ago or whatever. But yeah, they had a whole I wasn't reception. even born yet. Dang, what's up to the OA? I'm I'm born 2000. <laughs> oh, you said it's not. <laughs> you told me stop telling. I gave more information. <laughs> you started. You had too. I want to know how to do that. Young boy be his young boy be hitting. Young boy. Yeah, young boy. Yeah, when he ain't coming for everybody, about to keep, he just 
And he's suicidal. Ooh, you, you started up from your key? Hey, welcome up there. He was out there praying some ways in California. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 